Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for May 12th, 2020. So today we have Guardian Angel. Look at that. We are not without help, all right? But when we're talking about perception, this is talking about the Guardian Angels really coming up and helping you to understand this new perception. Um, I'm gonna give a quick example here. I was watching a video and they were, they were three men that were talking and they gave these uh, excerpts from two books. One was an older lady who was, you know, saying something that could be seen as being kind of mean. <laughs> right? And the other one was of this young man who uh, was saying, oh, you know, I tried to do all the things that would make me popular and I realized I wasn't happy. Now, one of the things that he did to try to make himself seem popular was objectifying a woman. Okay. Now I'm a woman. That's how I saw it. And these three gentlemen were very quick to dismiss the older lady and, and very quick to back up the young man. And it seems like it was lost on them that we don't have the full story of the older woman and why she might be saying those things. Now she might just be someone who doesn't have empathy and maybe she meant to be cruel or maybe she's somebody who gets mistreated and we are witnessing her going through her rebellion, right? And in her process of healing. We don't know that, we just had a little paragraph. On the other side of things, there was an objectification of a woman right within that excerpt and they were very quick to go, man, he's such a hero for being deep and thoughtful about how he feels and he was being rewarded. This is where our perceptions are right now and this is what will be changing. This is what will be changing. And I think the next layer of understanding, and this is something that the guardian angels with their energy, they're gonna help, uh, bring that light out so that we can start seeing more truth, okay? And we're gonna start maybe asking for more information. Well, before I give my opinion on this, what's the full story here? Well, on this side of the, this older woman that said these mean things, turns out she was abused her whole life and she continues to be abused by her family. And this is what's going on here. The full context of this other story is then I realized my power was in whatever. Maybe he figures out that he wants to be, I don't know. I hate to keep picking on the CEO. Sorry, I know there are good ones out there, guys. <laughs> but just for the sake of an example here, he wants to run a company and that was his source of power. Maybe there isn't real character development in the young man, right? Do you feel me here? So we're going to start seeing this stuff and we're going to start saying, hey, we need more information here before we come to any more conclusions. And we are going to start, yeah, they're saying right now, there, there's going to be an encouragement of, of deeper thinking, deeper thinking. And, you know, I'm giving an example where we're doing the male-female dynamic, but it doesn't have to just be that, right? It doesn't have to be shutting someone down because we're jumping to conclusions. Does that make sense? So the guardian angel is going to help us. It's going to be painful and it's going to be really uncomfortable because it's going to come smashing up against everything we know to be PC, and that's going to be a hard thing because people are such black and white thinkers. It's like, it's this or it's that. It's right or it's wrong. You're with me, you're against me. You know, if you didn't grow up exactly the way that I do, then there's no way you could understand me. Well, we are all human. Okay. And yes, again, I gave this example where there were three gentlemen here and they were quick to dismiss the older woman. Um, but does that necessarily have to mean that they are misogynist? No, <laughs> not at all. I think it's just how we have been conditioned to look at things. If somebody just says one, if they're just having like a moment and they say one thing, or you know, maybe again, we have uh, people who have been abused, they do go through their rebellion stage, they go through their pain body moment, they may not say the nicest things. They're figuring it out. I mean, is it fun to listen to? No, <laughs> of course not. But we can't then just clamp down and think we know that person. These are the kinds, and you guys might say, well, conversely, Michelle, you don't know about this young man. You're doing the same judgment on the young man. Not necessarily. Within the excerpt that they were giving, this guy had objectified a woman quite clearly and from a source of energy that we all need to preserve right now and take care of. So that evidence was already given. <laughs> right? So what I'm getting at here is we're, we're learning to get the full story. Our guardian angels are helping us through that and they're helping us to stand up in a real way. Yes. So not just standing up because, um, you know, we have a trigger word called action. Boom. Someone said the trigger word. Everyone get mad. Someone did this thing. Get mad. 
fight the cause, get up and do that. We're starting to realize, okay, we're working against ourselves here. <laughs> like in some cases that's appropriate, but not in every case. And right now we're treating it as if it's every case, no matter what, right? Here's the full story within a, within a word. So that's what we're learning to do right now. This is what the guardian angels are helping us to see. See the truth of a situation instead of what surface level propaganda wants you to see. Okay, deeper thinking, critical thinking. So we're gonna leave it there, guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care. Bye-bye.